You ain't gonna leave me, George. I, kn I knew you ain't. Nope. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 books you can read in a day. I'm afraid I haven't been a very good host on sport. You see... I'm Gatsby. For this list, we're discussing some of the best stories that bookworms can devour in 24 hours. After the video, let us know what your favorite book on the list is. Number 10. Department of Speculation, Jenny O'Phil. At a short but sweet 179 pages, Department of Speculation is a poignant page-turner about love, marriage, and everything else in between. The indiscriminate reading of novels is one of the most injurious habits to which a married woman can be subject. Besides the false views of human nature it will impart, it produces an indifference to the performance of domestic duties. Written from the narrator's perspective known as The Wife, the novel explores the daily challenges of domestic life. With only a handful of characters, the intimate story is broken down into anecdotes, each one full of wonderment. There is a man who travels around the world trying to find places where you can stand still and hear no human sound. It is impossible to feel calm in cities, he says, because we so rarely hear birdsong there. A Phil poses big questions through simple but powerful language that will keep readers captivated long after reaching the final page. Memories are microscopic, tiny particles that swarm together and apart. A Phil's accomplishment was recognized by being nominated for the Penn Faulkner Award for Fiction. Number 9. Tuck Everlasting, Natalie Babbitt. An American classic, Natalie Babbitt's children's novel Tuck Everlasting has been a fixture on bookshelves for decades. The story concerns Winnie Foster, a young girl who meets a family of immortals and deals with challenging matters such as life and death. What we Tucks have, you can't call it living. We just are. We're like rocks stuck at the side of the stream. Chock full of rich symbolism, the book was awarded a slew of accolades in the 1970s. Since then, Tuck has been adapted for the silver screen twice, and in 2016, a musical version of the tale opened on Broadway. Will I drink, or is it everlasting? Reinventing itself time and time again, Tuck Everlasting truly is eternal. Tuck said it to Winnie the summer she turned 15. Do not fear death, but rather the unlived life. Number 8. The Ocean at the End of the Lane, Neil Gaiman. A master wordsmith, Neil Gaiman weaves his magic in his writing for many different media. At 208 pages, his 2013 novel The Ocean at the End of the Lane tells a rich and vivid story despite its modest length. Based in England, the novel follows an unnamed protagonist who recalls life-changing childhood memories after returning to his hometown as an adult. And I was worried that I'd said something rude. Sometimes adults didn't like to be asked their ages, and sometimes they did. In my experience, old people did. They were proud of their ages. Years after its publication, Lane received a stage adaptation by the National Theatre in London. I like stories. Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland. Nothing looks like what it is on the inside. Plans for a film treatment have also been discussed for quite some time. No matter the medium, Gaiman fans are ready to dive into this rich story over and over again. Gran, said Letty. And the old lady stopped, mid-flow. Number 7. The Little Prince, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. Written by the late French author Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, The Little Prince might be considered the quintessential childhood novel. The book follows a prince who journeys across Earth, space, and beyond. The Little Prince, he was very fond of sunsets. One day, he saw 44 of them. With each adventure, he becomes more knowledgeable about life and humanity. Poetic, imaginative, and cerebral, the novel has earned international acclaim. What makes the desert beautiful is that somewhere it hides a well. Adapted into hundreds of languages, the novella isn't only a financial success, but also a cultural triumph. Having been adapted into everything from films to operas to ballets, The Little Prince continues to have an impact decades after its release. Number 6. Of Mice and Men, John Steinbeck. 
a harrowing story about innocence and aspiration, Of Mice and Men is a truly American tale. Written during the Great Depression, the John Steinbeck novel follows the lives of migrant workers as they travel across California seeking work and opportunity. Guys like us that work on ranches are the loneliest guys in the world. They got no family and they don't belong no place. The two leads, George and Lenny, have become literary icons for their poignant portrayal of male friendship. George. Go to sleep, Lenny. I'm sleeping, George. This 30,000 word page turner is well known for its devastating conclusion. Do we have a cow? Some pigs? We're gonna have maybe, maybe a chicken. Down the flat, we'll have a little feeling. The alfalfa out. for the rabbit. Cinematic and stage versions of the novel have carried on its legacy, including a 2014 Broadway production starring James Franco and Chris O'Dowd. Number five, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Douglas Adams. Penned by Douglas Adams, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a wild adventure packed into 208 pages. You'll need this. <laughs> The sci-fi novel follows an average Joe named Arthur Dent, who goes on an intergalactic journey into outer space via his alien friend. Arthur, I've got something to tell you. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Your whole planet has been blown up. Not only is the book thrilling, it's also laugh-out-loud funny. What originated as a radio broadcast in the 70s has expanded into a franchise that includes sequels, a television series, plays, games, and a feature film. Galaxy continues to entertain generations to this day, proving its legacy is out of this world. So long and thanks for all the fish. So sad that it should come to this. We try to warn you all, but oh dear. Number four, we have always lived in the castle, Shirley Jackson. Long before authors like Stephen King began turning out some of literature's most chilling tales, Shirley Jackson was paving the way. The California-born author wrote in many genres, but is especially known for work with a disturbing and haunting feel. I read in my book of spells that if you bury something evil or touched by cruelty, you may take its power. Her novel, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, remains one of her most famous works. The story centers around the protagonist, Mary Cat Blackwood, as she and her family deal with the aftermath of a tragedy. That chair is my dead brother's chair. The last time I saw him, though, he was foaming at the mouth. Full of eerie imagery, the novel has been adapted for the screen and stage. As Jackson's last novel before her death in 1965, it remains a testament to her talent for tapping into readers' greatest fears. I wonder if I could eat a child if I had the chance. I doubt that I could cook one. Number three, Animal Farm, George Orwell. If there's anyone who knew how to write an allegory, it was George Orwell. The English writer best known for 1984 used his talent for writing to address political and cultural matters. In 1945, he penned Animal Farm about a group of livestock who create an uprising against their evil farmer in an attempt to create a peaceful community. On this night, all the animals had agreed that as soon as Mr. Jones was in bed, they would gather in the main barn for a secret meeting. The entire novel is an allegory for the Russian Revolution and its aftermath. Although it was written decades ago, Animal Farm is just as relevant today. At first, we will have to work more and eat less. Since its publication, it has been adapted into other storytelling formats, wielding its powerful message on stages and screens across the world. Snowball is a traitor. What was he really planning? To bring back Jones. Number two, Sula, Toni Morrison. One of the modern era's most acclaimed writers, Toni Morrison made the world richer through her work. After her debut novel, The Bluest Eye, she penned Sula. Published in 1973, the book follows the lifelong bond between two black women, Nell and Sula. When it confronts the rebelliousness of an extremely unconventional and creative and confrontational black woman. The novel takes place in Ohio and covers topics such as racism and motherhood. The book went on to become one of her most highly regarded creations. Marson is an extremely imaginative writer. She comes up with ideas and images that uh, 
boggle the mind. The late Nobel Peace Prize winning author knew how to craft a strong story. And in Sula's short 192 pages, she made every word count. Past, present, future, which is what writing is for me. It's control. Nobody tells me what to do. I am in control. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Reluctant Fundamentalist, Mohsen Hamid. A rich story about identity, home, and racism following 9-11. I need you to remove all of your outerwear and place it on that chair. So you want me to strip? Remove your outerwear. Heartburn, Nora Ephron. The queen of rom-coms heartbreakingly funny take on love and divorce. Not angry at you! Well, then what are you shouting at me for? Because you're the only one that's here. <laughs> If you're not yet like me, Eden Lepucky, the short and sweet story of a mother recounting her life to her newborn. I'm really good at signing books. <laughs> we got another couple thousand here yeah. for you to sign. <laughs> Maybe 6,000, I think. The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Stephen Chbosky, a beloved coming-of-age story and a successful film. I'd hate for her to judge me based on what I used to be like. So I've been making her a mixtape so she will know how I feel. The Alchemist, Paolo Coelho, this novel about finding oneself has readers hooked. And you only learn this language by making mistakes. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, The Great Gatsby, F. Scott Fitzgerald. The Great Gatsby is a classic novel written in the Roaring Twenties that has become a staple in libraries and schools worldwide. Told from the point of view of narrator Nick Carraway, the story centers around the enigmatic and wealthy Jay Gatsby. His smile was one of those rare smiles that you may come across four or five times in life. A romance between the millionaire and his great love, Daisy Buchanan, is at the center. All my life. I wish it could always be like this. Full of glitz, glamour, and tragedy, author F. Scott Fitzgerald based the story off a fling he had with heiress Ginevra King. Adapted for the screen, stage, and television time and time again, this wild party keeps readers engaged from start to finish. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.